This episode of Scientific Tuesdays is brought to you by Netflix. Head over to netflix.com slash science for your free trial membership. Today on Scientific Tuesdays, we're going to combine two of man's favorite items. One, LEDs, and two, helium. Today we're going to create floating LED lights, which may appear to be a UFO to the unsuspecting citizen. First thing we need is a 3 volt lithium coin battery. Now you can find these almost anywhere. Now the trickier thing to find is LEDs, but go to your local electronic store, you should be able to pick some up pretty cheap. When you touch the two prongs to the battery, the LED will light up immediately. The next step that we got to do is secure it to the battery itself. I'll be using some electrical tape because it's strong and sturdy. Now surprisingly enough, you can get anywhere from one day to two days, even up to a week off one charge of these batteries. It's pretty crazy actually. All right, now we've got five here so far, but we're going for 10, so let's go ahead and get those going. Now, you may be wondering who first came up with this concept, and it was uh, Graffiti Research Labs a few years ago, except they attached a magnet to it so that you could throw these onto other magnetic objects. Pretty cool. All right, let's move on. Now that we have our LED throwies created, now we can put them into a helium balloon, launch them into space, and create our own UFO hoax. Now take your balloons, stretch them open, and have a friend drop the LEDs in. If you don't have a friend on hand, I'm sure you can figure out a way to do it on your own as well. Continue to do that, and then shoot some helium into it. All right, and lights out. Now next time you go raving, you have a new toy to show everybody. Here's some fun facts about helium while we finish up the rest of our LED balloons. Helium is a lot less dense than air itself, so sound travels much quicker in helium than it does in standard air. Now sound waves move differently depending on what they're moving through. Typically, we're breathing in air, which is nitrogen and oxygen for the most part, and sound waves generated in that will move at 350 meters per second. Now, once we put the sound waves through helium, it'll move around 900 meters per second. In reality, the pitch of your voice isn't really changing at all. What's being changed is the timbre of your voice. A common misconception is that the helium causes your vocal cords to vibrate faster. But now you know better. Okay, so we have the uh, balloons with the LEDs in them and we're almost ready for launch. All right, so we released the balloons here. Now we're doing it one after another here so that we can get a cool pattern in the sky that will freak people out. For the best results, you're obviously going to want to do this in a very dark area away from light pollution. In our example, we were able to see these up to about a mile away. Remember, if you want to make the nightly news, you might consider getting bigger balloons and stuffing about a hundred of these LEDs in single one of them. Now that might be interesting. Now if you decide to try this yourself, I would recommend investing in some kite string. That way you don't have to waste the LEDs and buy new ones every time. And of course, that way you're not littering lithium batteries. So what we did is we got four spools of that, we cut it up and we tied them to each balloon. That way we could actually control where the balloons were going. Now this would also be fun if you took it to a park and you wanted to get the reactions out of people as well. Beyond that, we'll see you next week with some cool magnetic experiments. And I want to thank Netflix. Netflix has over 15 million members and it's the world's largest subscription service. It will instantly stream TV episodes, movies, all over the internet, or they'll send you a DVD. Once you're a member, you can select from a huge library of titles that you can watch instantly. There's also a vast array of titles on DVD. Now keep in mind, you don't need a computer to watch these. Among the many devices which work with Netflix are the Xbox 360, the PS3, even the Nintendo Wii. This will let you find all the movies and TV shows that you love easily. As a new member and a Scientific Tuesdays viewer, you can get a free trial membership right now. Just head over to netflix.com slash science and sign up. Hello.